One view, everyone knows the rules. I get to look at an ad one time and tell you if it's a good branding, a good direct response, or just a crappy ad in general. So let's see who we have today. So we have a company called fanatics.com. So let's check out the ad and see how it looks. Okay, it's a great ad. It's exactly what you expect from a direct response ad. It ticks every box. To start with, it's 15 seconds. Within the first five seconds, I knew who the brand was and something about them having the largest collection worldwide of sports or something like that. So within five seconds, I knew who the brand was, the unique selling point and why to lift my head up. The ad is stocked videos and images. Most of those are static images that are flowing through. So it's not an expensive ad to put together. They have a persistent URL throughout. Um, and at the end, there is no hiding that it's direct response. Shop now, here's an offer. They got that within 15 seconds. You got me to pay attention, told me who you are, told me why I should shop with you and gave me an offer in 15 seconds. It's exactly what you want to see when you're looking at a direct response TV ad. You know, there's no way of scoring this anything lower than a 9.7. And even then, I think I'm being critical. It is a great ad in that time frame. From a branding point of view, it's not a branding ad. It would do its job of branding and telling you who it is, but there is no hiding they're trying to direct response. So from a branding, I'll give it a six, uh, but purely because the aim of this ad is to drive purchases.